The Supreme Court has issued a temporary hold on ending Title 42. The Trump era policy barring asylum seekers from entering the U.S. because of COVID will continue, at least for now. This comes as Texas braces for a surge of migrants by sending hundreds of National Guard members to El Paso. Mireya Villarreal is in El Paso with the story. A temporary reprieve for Title 42. The Trump era health policy keeping asylum seekers from entering the country was set to expire Wednesday. But an administrative order coming from U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts pauses the case. We're going to continue to proceed as if it was being lifted. We want to make sure that we're prepared. This year, Border Patrol made a record 2.2 million apprehensions, with more than half of those people being removed from the country by using Title 42 and another immigration policy. Video provided to ABC News by Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez appears to show overcrowding at a Border Patrol-run processing center in El Paso just a few days ago. This most recent surge overwhelming shelters like the Annunciation House. We've had very significant numbers of refugees that have been spending the night out on the street. 23-year-old Duliesca Altamira traveling here from Venezuela by herself and pregnant. She says there is a lot of violent corruption in their country. There was no place for them to work. Um, she had no other choice but to come here. All right, want to bring in ABC's Mireya Villarreal with more on this. So, Mireya, what does this administrative stay on Title 42 really mean for border cities dealing with this new surge of migrants? You know, really, this just puts a temporary pause on everything. We heard from the city officials last night. They basically said, you know, inevitably, Title 42 will go away. And so we've got to continue to plan for that. Um, we saw this morning, for example, Texas National Guard already rolling into town. They're here to help law enforcement. We also know that the Red Cross is working with city leaders to set up what they're calling a mega shelter that will have room for up to 10,000 people. So really, they are continuing to push forward because there is a good chance more migrants will continue to come. Well, that's my question. Will the migrants continue to come now that they realize there's a stay on, on Title 42? And have they even heard the news? You know, a lot of migrants that we've spoken to have told us they don't really know a whole lot about what Title 42 is about. Uh, they keep hearing it, you know, by word of mouth, but they're not watching the news, obviously. Um, for them, what they are being told in Mexico and in their home countries is now is the time to come. Now is your chance. And so that's what they're going off of right now. As far as what happens with Title 42, if it's put on pause, if it's not, that doesn't really kind of concern them. They're going to continue to come. They're going to continue to try and cross over. Um, and really, um, inevitably, they, they are going to try and, and continue to come and, and figure out what they can do here. All right, Mireya Villarreal, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.